So if you pull up on the left just after this blue car this room. Not too bad about drivers, but try and avoid them. In fact, you can hit them. Yeah. Look, that's what I did it before the game. That's it, oh, so. That's it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do it that way. Okay. Right, let's turn off there. Things like that, we know what you've bothered about. It's a minor thing. If you can yeah. do it better, you know, that's fine. But that's not going to, you know, going to fail you doing that. Um, so. Talking about parking that car ahead, what's wrong with it when that, when that car's parked? What's wrong with it? <coughs> yeah. There's like a bit there. Yeah, and it. Block it. So if you get a bus comes around there, <coughs> yeah. the bus is never going to get through. Um, yeah, so the approach to the roundabout, you're just going to draw this this diagram. Because your controls are good, so I won't go over all those. What are you doing with your, your feet, your hands? That's all good. So, what you want to do ideally is if this isn't always possible, but you want to try and decide if you can go by about the time you get to where the line is. So okay. if we're where we are now, imagine that road in the middle of the grass there, they all come through. If that was a roundabout, when you're this far back, ideally, you want to have decided to go or not. So which gear would you normally be in to approach? Okay. Yep. So you try to. If you can't tell by there, what do you do then? I'm going to one. Yep. Um, what is it that's going to, going to make it possible for you to go? Like say if there's a car coming from there, yeah. What's going to help you to go, even though they may be going ahead? Um, if there's a car coming straight. Yeah, this is what we call the blockers. That's what happened before where that silver car was coming around, signaling to their right. So if they're coming around, that was our, our kind of chance to not go because they were coming around a bit, bit early. Yeah. So what you got to do is all clutch down, brake, steer, into first gear, then you balance it, hold it, hold it, hold it, creep, and then go whenever you can. You should be so in a way you're kind of rolling up with the clutch down. So you clutch down, 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 waiting, waiting, balancing it there, and then go whenever you can. Why is it no good if you have the clutch down for too long? Right, burn it. So when burn it, but what will it do? So if you, oh, it's you like lose control, don't you? Because it's not in gear. That's it. So it's only bad if you have your clutch down for like from now, and on now, and now, and it's still down, still down. Yeah. You barely get there. You're limping, and limping. That's when it annoys people behind, and you can be down just because they could run in the back of you. So you try and do so, so mirrors, signal, the order of the pedals might be different, but brake, clutch, steer, brake off into one, balance it, and then go, just like that. Um, yes, yeah, so you don't want to push down too long, but if you step too long, you might get dragged out into the roundabout. Yeah. Uh, you notice there we did the gear quite late, so it's always instead about changing up later, you do it later on here as well. Yeah. So you, you tend to kind of push, push, change, push, 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 change. These ones, if you did the gear too early, you don't know which one it's going to be because you might be able to go in two you get down to one too early yeah. and then you can't actually go again this is really hard to go over just in one hour because it takes a long long time to fully get all this done what we're trying to get now is so that the approach is a little bit better so you're going to okay. get second pedals off all the way have you done that before or you didn't know pedals at all and you just kind of cruise um kind of yeah but yeah yeah did you do that like, where you just saw sort of two and then you'd still have nothing like roll, kind of. Yeah. yeah, so that's good because that's something clear people don't often don't know. But you can yeah. just do no pedal at all, and the car will just cruise on its own. Only first and second doesn't work, so only three and four, five, it wouldn't really work. Um, but that's something we could try. We've got to try and do it from now on, then we're going to get second well before the roundabout, no pedals whatsoever. If you can't go, any doubts whatsoever, what do you do? Um, if you can't go, just stop and then put the handbrake on. No, that's what you don't want to do. So what if you can't go like here, so you're in two. Oh, okay, you want me just the same first. That's it. So you that's it, clutch down, one. Yeah. Balance it, creep, creep, creep. Then if you really can't go, then you stop in handbag. Yeah. But stopping in the handbag is the last thing you should be doing on roundabouts. Yeah. If you this is hard to say because it depends on where you are and whatever. But if you're using a handbrake more than that's I don't know, one in every ten roundabouts, you're probably not doing them well. But it depends on where you are and what the situation is. But it shouldn't be like roundabout stop, next roundabout stop. Next round of stop. If you're stopping on them, that means you're doing them wrong. You should be kind of rolling, rolling. What's the point of the roundabout? What are they designed to do? Like right for people to change direction. Yeah, what else as well? That's true, but what else? Um, so how does it help? Turning around. Yeah, what else as well? Like, why were they designed? Like the traffic, why, why is it better than the crossroads? Oh, is it like because the traffic flows? Yeah, that's it. So yeah. if you stop, you're not letting your flow. You kind of stop and yeah. you're disrupting the point in the roundabout. Yeah. So you don't have to go, but you don't have to stop. You can creep, 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 try and carry on. And that again saves you fuel, because if you stop, it takes a lot more energy to pull the car from a standing start than to roll and roll. So 
Just going to give that a go. So you're going to approach him in second. No pedals at all. Maybe not on this one because he's going to be up a yeah, hill. So it maybe wouldn't work. But if you can't go, can't tell, can't see, the sun's in your eyes or whatever. Because any reason at all you can't go. Clutch down one, hold it, and then go. Running, let's give that a go. See that clutch right there. Oh, yeah, sorry. I Most cars now in the last few years you have to do that, even with a key, you, oh, you have to have your clutch down. So I'll leave this up to you because what you're doing on the main stuff is really good. I'm just gotta um fix up those roundabouts. And it isn't really roundabouts it's approaching that we're doing, it, it's yeah. we're using the roundabouts to practice it, but it's more like giving way to park cars on park cars, things like that. It's all the same stuff. So on this road, why could you change gear earlier now? Because I'm going to roll. So yeah, that's it. No, that's good. Uh, so downhill, that's fine. Yeah. But when you did it before, you were trying to like you were downhill when you weren't yeah. downhill. So that's when you got to kind of rev more. So let's keep going up. Okay. Imagine if this was a roundabout here. Um, you could look to the right, no one there, and just we go. I know they're not that easy normally because yeah, you can't be so well. So when I go to this one, I'm going to go left first exit, but I'll just talk you through this. Okay. So more stuff. That's good. That's really good. So when you pass this blue sign for the bridge, yeah. do you reckon you can go now or not? Um, no. no. Mm. So I'll try standing to it just for now because it looks like it's clearing, but can we? Yeah. That's good. That's great. That one, when you said you couldn't quite see, you couldn't, but then suddenly it gets a bit better. So that was good. We had it, you know, we were far enough back so we could still cruise and cruise. I mean, this road's easy because you see it's so wide, that's easy. But yeah. if you were thinking about giving way, you must know if you can give way by about now. Yeah. So if you're thinking about it kind of here, too late. So we're going to carry on around. We're not going to do a very exciting route today, just round around the block, yeah. just to try a few things. After this first one, when I've kind of know what you need to do, we can plan a better, better kind of strategy for it. Let's run the speed in that quite a bit. We can't speak because the speed is not working, does it? It takes a few seconds for this one to kick in. But. So, how far to the right can you see on this roundabout? Not like no. So, so this one we can try second, but it probably yeah. definitely won't work okay. because it's just the view is quite bad. But it's worth a go in case a blocker helps us. Where do I want to go? So left first exit on this. So right now at the moment, can you go or not? Ah, uh, yeah, I could not. But can you see all the way out the road? No. no. So you clutch, brake in one. Can we go before that white motor car or not? No, because no. I'm right. Can you go after? Yes. Yeah, that's good. So, just got to be careful if you don't go a little bit too soon. Okay. But that's, that's where the creeping has got to come in. Yeah. Because if you're not used to doing that, that's why it can be a bit, uh, can be a bit awkward. So try now if we do clutch down, brake in. But leave the gear quite late to kind of brake in, brake in. Leave it really late, leave it. So break and break <laughs> That's it. Then we do one about now. Down to one. Down to one. Down to one. So you've still got to do it, but just leave it later. That's good. Okay. If you do it too early, the problem is you don't need it at that time. So you kind of break, stop, that's the main thing, slow down, yeah. then choose a gear, and then go. Okay, not wrong, you could have done it when you're going to, but the later leave it, the better, without being too late. So we head on the roundabout, second exit. So we try the same principle now, same method now. So we come up in second. No way can we see a thing because the view's awful, yeah. but that's it. So creeping, that's good rolling there. So, a bit of gas clutch creep, can we go? Yes. No. Yep, that's good. Go that's good, that's good. You know, say how fast I changed, it was yes, then no, the yes, yeah. then no, the yes. That's why if you creep, it gives you more options. If you stop, it's a very blunt kind of stop, go. Okay? That doesn't really work very well, you've got more options open. So with your clutch control you can stop or go and change your mind several times a second. It's much easier to change your mind and your feet than to say, so it's quite hard to say yes or no. By the time you've answered it, it can be too late. And by the time I've answered it, it can be too late. So that's why it's good to do understand how to do the creeping. So straight on again, all the way to get towards the end. So that was good there to be slow, but now that he's open, let's get it right up. Push quite loud. This isn't loud, this is like everyday normal volume. 
you know, can that slightly more if you don't normally, I don't know, it's just that if you don't get to speed up enough, you can't then do the creeping because you haven't got the momentum to play with. So one thing you know, depends on the other.